So guys, I've literally just come through the front door of a mansion, four million pan. Hello Explorers, back again, and guess what? We're in a four million pound mansion. I'm not talking one pound, two pound, I'm talking four million. I would never earn that sort of money, but anyway, this mansion is absolutely insane. So what I'm gonna do is I started the video inside and we're gonna work our way outside. Um, but yeah, just literally, just nosing around before you get to see, already I can see this place is absolutely insane. But I'm out with Taser today. First time Explore. The first Explore he took me on, I fell in a hole full of human feces near enough. Yeah. The second explore, I get arrested near enough. Near enough. I'm dreading this one, so hopefully we just get in and out and we're alright. But yeah, I'm guys, just... check out your channel, it's just Taser. I'll let you say a little bit about your channel, but... Uh, well, well, from now on, I'm just a bad luck charm, so... Nah, <laughs> you know, so we're going to smash this one. It's going to be an absolute gem of a video. Please, guys, stay tuned. Hit that thumbs up, hit that like and subscribe button. Check out Taser. Also, hit the like and subscribe button on Taser. Boom. We're going to explore this place. See you in a minute. Let's go. Let's start the little video walking around then. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm like a child. You know when you get a kinder egg off your mum and dad, this is how I feel right now. So guys, I've literally just come through the front door of a mansion. Four million pan. Now I've already said the intro, I know, but I've literally just come in. I was going to say, I'm inviting you all to my house, but I certainly don't live like this. This is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to give you a tour. This is going to be crazy. So when I first come into this main hall of this house, just look at the beautiful ironwork on the stairs. And the little boy with his pipes. I actually forgot the name of them. How bad is that? Guys, I just want you to look up at this staircase. Now I'd imagine there would have been a beautiful chandelier hanging up there on that chain, unfortunately no more. What a beautiful staircase. So guys, imagine coming into your main front room, front hallway, sorry, and you've got your guest, and you let the parties and stuff you could have in here. This marble flooring. I mean, yeah, it's quite dated as well, but it still looks absolutely beautiful. Imagine a roaring open fire, just burning away. Which is absolutely beautiful. Look at this oak. 
That is solid wood. I mean, it's crazy, guys, to think that houses like this are just sitting in our own town of London. When there's a massive housing crisis at the moment where people are struggling to find homes and you've got big properties like this that are taking up acres of land. I mean, what is that? I don't even know what that is. It's like some weird window. I mean, this just says to me that it was um, obviously a book in Arabic. So again, maybe Saudi Arabia owners. This is crazy, absolutely crazy. They're just beautiful properties that are just completely laying in despair, sitting there decaying. And you can see like how long it's been empty, like the damp and the moisture starting to get in and ruining this beautiful, glamorous building. It really does upset me. And again here, very dated couch. Bits and pieces there, like the lights, the old light fixings. I mean, yeah, it does a little bit, need a bit of update and stuff, but it's still so beautiful. like one of those secret books, but instead of cash, it's pills. Some of like old books and stuff. And there are the words and rules. Country chick. The fall of the eagles. So I'm guessing this could be like a prayer mat or something. As I'm coming into the second room, guys, just check the size of these rooms. It's so hard to show you on camera, like just how big these rooms are, but they're absolutely huge. And this beautiful fireplace, like this fireplace looks like solid stone. I mean, this is absolutely mental. The beauty of the absolute beauty of this fire. And then a pan shot of the back at the end of this room. This is gorgeous. This reminds me like stars in your eyes. So, Michael, who's on next? I'm sure it's Michael. But another huge room. It makes you wonder why people want such big places for. The only thing I don't like about this room, guys, is this kind of like, it reminds like of an office sort of look, ceiling tiles. And we've got beautiful bits there and stuff. Imagine your view out in the garden, that beautiful little summer hut. I mean, this is just part of the garden. And just to show you how long it's been abandoned, like each, each door literally bolted up. I mean, this ain't the first. I mean, guys, if you're watching this video, check out my Billionaire's Row video. Again, it's a huge, huge building. What, what is this? Oh my God. What is this? So they're doing like medical stuff. Oh my God, this is absolutely mental. So this x-ray was done when? You want to see a date on there? Oh yeah, 2008. It's 11 years ago, guys. It was already switched on, but I'm gonna switch it off. What is this in the house? This is really crazy. I don't actually know what this is for. What's this shadow ball for? Oh, this is, I don't get why there's like an x-ray looking screen in a house and then some weird sort of lighting on the ceiling. Like, what was it for? Were they practicing medicine in here? Surgery? I just don't get it. Come on ladies. Who would like a kitchen this big? 
bigger the better I've heard. <laughs> oh guys, look at that. It's decayed. This is like a dining room. It's crazy that the power is still on. Who's paying the bills? And that side there, you've got three triple garages. Triple garages. Oh, this room is like a little, maybe a little alarm fob, <laughs> screws. It's like the indoor shed. There's another set of stairs, but these stairs are not as glam. The size of the boiler in this place. You can see it's had a major leak, hence why the bar basement is just full of water. This place just keeps going. I'm still on a lower level. This is huge. And you've got like a storeroom in there, I won't bore you, but it's just a little storeroom. I think we should head upstairs. food maybe area, prepping room, obviously for big family meals, a little smeg cooker. It is such a beautiful house, it just needs updating. So this fridge is absolutely beautiful. Just look at the lighting all through the house. Downstairs toilet, you can see the date of the old wallpaper. But look, even in the toilet, it's actually really nice light fittings. Why do people leave mansions like this? Money, power. So, yeah, as you imagine the chandelier, as I said, downstairs hanging off this absolute chain. I mean, the size of that chain, that would have been some light, guys. Take you for a tour on the first floor. Look at the library. All this books area. And obviously some of you like books and stuff. I like books. The poems of HMS Davis. The fan in. Oh, this is absolutely crazy. What a beautiful location. I mean guys, if you like mansions, you need to check out my video, Billionaire's Row. I'll take you through one of the biggest mansions but it's not as glamorous as this, it's completely decayed. But imagine this sitting up here and having the door open, you're just relaxing, sat on your chair outside, listening, just, <laughs> it's so quiet out there. I'm gonna say this right now, I like exploring with you. Sorry? I like exploring with you. What is that? I can't even hear a watch, are you? All the time. I want to jump out of each other. <laughs> you're like, just being my help, you're getting all this fucking out. Guys, as I come into the bathroom, literally I can feel the floor already bowed underneath my feet. But the amount of water damage in this place is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So, oh, like you can't really see it on camera, but you can kind of see how bowed that floor is. You know, you can see on camera just 
how Bowden is flying is. Oh my God, this, guys, I'm literally just standing in the bathroom. Look at this bathroom. You don't even need blinds up. There's so much privacy here. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'd love to have the money just to live here now. And they're just relaxing in the bath. Chilling out and winding. Just some candles around and stuff. I could see myself living this life. It will never happen, but... Well, you never know. I like these as well, like the old, it's kind of like 70s, 80s style, but remind me like circus lights or, you know when um, like glamorous people having makeovers and stuff, their mirrors and stuff with all the lights. I'm literally so excited. This mansion is absolutely crazy. I'm just standing in the bathroom. This is what I'm trying to say to you. This is just the bathroom. I just wish, I could take some of you guys with me to show you what I see. Because sometimes for a camera is not always the best. But I'm literally in love with these places. I mean, is this like a living room or what? We've got more in the house to tour, so let's go. Let's go and tour it. So just so you all caught up, I've literally come through here. We've done the bathroom in that room. Now we're gonna head into another bathroom. Oh, look at the day in here. Guys, this looks like me when I get out of the bathroom exploring. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> this is so dated. It's a lot of work up here, yeah. Look at that. The old spotty. Someone looks like they've nicked the fixing. I mean, it could be missing. Well, obviously, when they moved out, they might have took the chandelier with them. I don't know. Coming into the first bedroom. There's some pictures there. So, guys, look at this. The four poster bed design just on the handles. So you can... Guys, that's so squeaky. So noisy. So, you can imagine what beds would have been in these places. Obviously, back in the 90s, these houses would have been like, wow, you know, like, riches. Now, obviously, a lot of you are probably looking at it like, oh, don't really like the decor. Look at it out there. This is so beautiful. I just want to move in. I literally just want to move in. So, as I'm coming back out into the hall, Another bathroom. Do you know what? I actually like this room. I think it's really cool. Now a lot of you may disagree, but I think the floor tiles, if you imagine being drunk coming here, you'd be like, whoa, we don't know if you're laying on the floor or leaning against the wall. And this is quite a modern shower actually for the rest of the house. Do you know what? Because the power's on. And imagine there's electric still. Uh, sorry, hot water and the boiler. I could literally probably have a shower. <laughs> you imagine it. Guys, the security on this place is crazy. I know you probably think, well, you're standing in here, but honestly, it is crazy. It's kind of like maybe a towel storeroom. There's just water damage everywhere. I mean, guys, what I want you to do as well, I want you to count the bathrooms. How many have we done so far? Look at this towel rail. Just definitely need a plumber in these to update these. Danger do not use. Maybe the explosive toilet or something. It's so dated. <laughs> so literally now I'm gonna come into the next room. But the only thing I don't like about living in rich areas, they have to have like these shut, well they don't have to, but for safety and that, I feel like I'm in a prison in my own house. That's the only thing I don't like. You know this tree is completely outside. It's completely took over all the balcony. You can't see it properly, but honestly, it's took the whole balcony out there. You can just see like obviously a lot of old houses. They had fires in each room, obviously to keep them warm. There's some more books and stuff here. The endless game. 
I don't know, cassettes. So basically like story cassettes, I'm guessing. So heading back out to the hall. Wow, this place just keeps going. You can see up there guys, the mould and the damp. It's just a sad ass, it just needs, it needs a lot of renovating. You can see that like, water damage, just all that side there. This is like the sort of low end of the house, to be fair. Like up there you have quite a lot of glam, and in this side you have just like some old sort of staircase. There's another room. Wow. See the old style telephones, BT. You can see that there's maybe like wardrobes or, so, or posters maybe on the walls or something. It's kind of like a castle shape, like it's got this round sort of tower at the back, or the front of the house should I say, sorry. So we don't need to go down here because this was obviously the ground floor that was showing up to these sort of stairs. But guys, you wanted a mansion. This is an absolute mansion. How the hell is that broke? Excuse my language, sorry. How's that broke? God, I do like this old chest. I think it's a bit too much. A flowered lampshade. Flowered curtains. Another bathroom. So I hope you're keeping can, guys, because I've completely lost can. This is <laughs> this is crazy. Can't believe the size of this. And obviously the back of the house. I like this as well, like the old shutters and the windows and stuff, the shutter boards, or whatever they're called. I actually thought this was the last room in the house. This is like a walkway room, so maybe like the cupboards obviously for storage and stuff. And there's like an upstairs kitchen. Wow, it just keeps going. So there's another kitchen. That's kind of like an industrial sort of look like. I quite like it. I like it. Laser? It's me. Please tell me you saw the cinema downstairs. No, is it? <laughs> Come with me. This is the last, this is the last <laughs> bit here. Just finish this line. This guy's got another room. So this is more brighter. I don't know, I'm not sure about the decor or the rest of the rooms, but this is kind of cool. And again, they've gone for like the industrial sort of look lights. They do like reading these guys. And another bathroom. So guys, remember, keep counting of these bathrooms. And now we're in the green room. So it's got so many bedrooms. Again, that you can see the damage of this place. The water is literally starting to damage. There. Yeah. We'll see, like, the sink's literally just falling forward off the wall. And this door here, I don't know what that goes to. This is like up on a roof area or something, isn't it? Well, hopefully, you can see that because I can't. Outdoors, indoor kind of sitting area. Weird. So again, another small bedroom maybe with a the on sink instead of the on suite. <laughs> so obviously the first floor. No, I've got some in the car though, some water and stuff. So I'm heading up into the second floor. Now I believe this would just probably go out to maybe like a viewing area, sitting area. Oh, the size of this window. This is about seven to eight feet tall. Well, maybe now there would have been some kind of maybe water feature fountain or something. Oh, 
Uh, this is crazy, like honestly, you can just about make down there in the drive, there's the, obviously the old gate that you would come in. This is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, obviously this, I can't take you out there because it is sealed, as I said, we don't break nothing. But yeah, that, that would have gone like up until like, maybe like the castle part that I showed you through the window. Well, technically we probably could come out there because the keys are left in the lock. <laughs> but we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. So, I'll literally give that a miss. And it's locked actually, the other door, the uh, door's locked. Look at all the light fittings. Maybe they were actually the uh, fittings for this. But just looking down here, look at this. This is so cool. Absolutely beautiful. Guys, I don't even need to explain to you what's happening here. We are in the cinema room. How did I miss this? Wow. So now the room, the weird room that I said with the x-rays is actually to activate the screen as well. Maybe they wanted to project the x-rays on the thing to show them that maybe they're... So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to do operate on here, operate on here. I don't know, this is crazy. The old 90s, look how old the screen is. You can see that all the sun's completely bleached it, like that yellow, that smoking sort of look. Yeah. Actually, in the 90s, a lot of people still believed that smoking and that was actually good for you, so everyone probably did smoke it. <laughs> this is crazy, I'm actually loving this mansion. Uh, this is just standing back in this room. Can you imagine sitting in there with your cinema and your nice couch and stuff? Yeah. It is a very strange setup, and the smell in here is very. I can't really explain it. It smells like a sort of burning, sort of musty sort of smell. What's going to happen next, guys, when they bring out the smell cam? <laughs> that beautiful stone seating area sat out there. It's absolutely beautiful. So, what do you think of my mansion? I'm loving it. Me and Tays are going to spend a night here, we're going to watch a film, maybe Titanic, who knows? Don't fucking tell me, honestly, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're still an overnight in the mansion. That'd be uh, absolutely I amazing. We'll so put the camera in, let's put the thing down. Of course, yeah. Sit and watch a film. <sighs> they keep me in a box now. Five dollars. I don't know, I don't really get this room. What is this room about? It's not another objective. So, yeah, it could be actually, I just don't get it. Is there a, is there a button that says screen? No, nothing. They have a double check, do you? <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure. Damn, yeah, well, that's got a lot of fun gear as well. I'm very, Brian Forbes. It's a raging moon. I think it was, I'll be the chair. So guys, yeah, this movie poster is actually the owner's house. Brian Forbes' house. The film producer. So do you dare me to go down into the cellar? This reminds me of like Evil Dead. What I said earlier. Just need to chain man it. But it looks flooded. It's so heavy. Whereas if, you, if I was stuck down here, he would not get out of this easy. The light has literally just come on down there. There's loads of like wine bottles and stuff in there as well. Oh, I stink. Oh, yeah. oh no, you're born in town. As you said, it's flooded. Yeah. So you can get to the bottom step quite easily. Oh, yeah. It's oh, wow. The smell down here is absolutely rotten. It's even worse than that. Look at those bottles there. How old are they? But I'm literally worried about water and being near Taser. <laughs> Last time. So it's like a, it's a wine storage area. It's alright, it's not sewage water, so you're fine. No. <laughs> hey guys, look how old some of these are. So as you can see guys, the floor is actually flooded, which is why we're not going any further in. Um, but it was definitely worth coming down just to see them bottles. Definitely. How cool are they? Oh, the smell. God, that, that smell is rotten. <laughs> right. I'm worried about these stairs. Oh, <sighs> There's a cupboard, yeah. Where the hell would you get to, how would you get to that cupboard there? 
don't know. So how would you actually get to that cover? You probably walk around it underneath. You can't get around there. No? Huh. You're sure if you, you could walk around you couldn't come on the other side? There's no way, no. Solid. I don't get it. Hopefully guys, I've shown you enough. I'm literally going to do the outside. Hopefully we can get around and show you a little bit outside. Um, wow, I need to show you that. That is one big ass, big butt, should I say. Is that a hornet? Because that is one huge wasp. And to show you how big it is, that's my thumb. That is crazy the size of that. So guys, imagine it putting your two beautiful cars in there, maybe a Ferrari, maybe a Lamborghini. Coming through your gates there, up your drive, pulling up, into your house. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see, just look at all the land. Completely like overgrown. Danger deep water, so obviously it's a beautiful lake. Well, it was down there. Look at the seating area. So beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it? And you can't even see the back doors anymore. They're literally just taking my nature. I was standing in the back garden of this mansion. See the paint and stuff just peeling off the doors. When nature wants her places back, she takes it back. What a beautiful back garden. So that's what I was saying, you remember out those windows I was showing you inside? Obviously all the trees are completely overgrown. This grass is so like spongy. Yeah, it's a beautiful back end of the house. So this is a beautiful back end of the house. Guys, I love exploring, absolutely love it. And you can see like how far the place actually goes. This is a huge house. Again, just left, why? So again, this is like some beautiful, it's like a bird apiary they call them. Remember having like exotic birds in your garden, looking onto the back of your house. This is so beautiful, honestly. I feel like it's like an enchanted kind of house. So now you can see the lake from this angle. Look at that. So cool. And look at the old cobbly path. It's completely like moss and everything's completely just taken over. This is such a gorgeous location. So beautiful. And just nature showing its best. Guys, the gimbal has just gone dead, so you need to excuse my shaky hands. Look, you've got a big outdoor shed. I like the lantern on the side. It reminds me kind of like an American sort of cabin. You know, like the little oil lamp on the side there. Really cool. Look at that. <laughs> Look at Let you come down here for a spot of tennis. This reminds me of something like out of Chernobyl, how it's completely abandoned. But we've got to be careful because it backs onto another house there. Look at the deck chair and stuff. Completely like, I mean, this is like a, a red sort of tarmac. You can see that how long it's been overgrown for. Some people just got so much money. 
Oh no, it's, it's actually got a steam room uh, sauna. Look at the old sort of funky light up there. Oh, that's got a, got a thing. Just imagine though, taking five minutes to yourself, sitting here listening to Mother Nature. That's so beautiful. Hello guys, don't normally get time to chill out on locations, but that was an absolute stunning one. I enjoyed every minute of that. Absolutely at its best, love it. For abandoned locations, what more could you want than that? It's an absolute beautiful mansion. But I promise you guys, this isn't the last. There'll be loads more to come. I always try and do what people haven't done. We all, all try that, but obviously this has been done. And thanks to uh, others that have found it and give us the location so we can come check it out ourselves. Um, Obviously, yeah, guys, check out the other ones if you like mansion. There's Billionaires Row, and there's also a few others on my channel. Um, I'm obviously out with Taser today. Um, Hi. Which you can hear bye in bye. the background there, and bye. Um, but yeah, guys, don't forget, please hit that thumbs up, hit that like and subscribe button. It absolutely means the world to me. Obviously, the more our channels grow, so get over and check Tasers out. But the more our channels grow, the more further afield we can explore. Obviously, because it just proves to us that you want to watch our stuff. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned for next adventure. Love you all. Take care.